I'll show you how to install the ink, the print heads, and afterwards I'll also demonstrate how to connect this printer to your smartphone. And finally, we're gonna print some documents and show you how the wireless scanner is working. So let's get started right away. First step is to remove all the orange tape that are on the printer. Then go on the side of the printer and connect the power cable. Once you've done this, it's time to power on the printer. Simply locate the power button over here, press it once and the screen will turn on. We need to open the top lid. Simply find the small slot here on the side of the printer and lift it. Then you can release the lid since it has a prop that is able to keep it in this position. Once you do this, the printer will present to you the print head carriage right in front over here. Take your brand new print heads, open the package, and you'll notice that each of them has a letter. This one has the letter B, and the other one over here has the letter C. This is for color, and this obviously is for the black ink. To open the print head compartment, you just need to pinch this blue tab you see over here with your finger, simply push on it while with your thumb being on the top and it will open this lid. You see, this is the latch. It's very clearly indicated where each one of these goes. C for color, B for black. So we need to remove this orange label first simply by peeling it off. Then don't forget to remove the top label as well simply by peeling it like that. And then let me show you a close-up here. You'll notice that there are some contacts on the front of this print head and the print head right below. What you need to do is to simply let it go in its slot like this and then release it it will fall right there. You do not need to push it or apply any force. Let's do the same thing for the color one. So I'll remove this first label, then I'll remove this label and I'll simply glide it there, let it fall into its position and this is it. Now I just have lower the lid until it clicks in place. This is very important. One time comes to replace them, first of all, to pull it out in this direction and then lift it. So let me pull it out. You see, you even have a place here to put your finger, push it out and then lift it away like that. Push it out and then take it out by lifting it. But this time these are new, so I'll keep them here. So this was how to install print heads in your Canon PIXMA Megatank printer. Now let me show you how to install the ink bottles. Let's start by loading the black ink first. The black ink compartment is located on the left side over here. It's separate from the rest. It has this gray lid. You just have to take your thumb and flip it up like that to unveil where the tank can feed from the bottle. Then take your bottle, open it, and we have to place this ink bottle right over here. You see it has these small indentation here, and this should match the indentations that are located on the printer as well. These bottles are made so it does not spill, but you still need to be a bit careful. Once you have put it here, you do not need to press it. You do not need to shake it. You just have to wait until the ink goes into the printer. You can check the window on the front of the printer to have an idea how much time is left to fill it up. Right now it's over here. It usually takes about a minute, a minute and a half to completely fill from zero. Okay, now I don't hear anything and the bottle seems empty, therefore I can safely remove it. You just have to lift it the same way you did once you put it 
close the lid here, make it click, and we're good to go. Now let's do the same thing for the cyan, magenta, and yellow ink. So it's the same exact process. Let's start with the cyan here. I'm going to open the lid, take my ink bottle, make sure to align the top of the bottle with the printer. And by the way, as you see, nothing leaks. So you don't have to do it very quickly. You don't have to worry about spilling ink. Take your time, push it there and wait. It's better to do one bottle at a time. I know it's possible to do the yellow at the same time as the sign, but you better wait. Okay, it's done already. Remove the ink bottle and let's do the next one. The magenta. And finally, the yellow. If the ink stops flowing in the middle of this refilling, you can try move it around slightly. Do not remove it and try avoid pressing on the bottle. This yellow, it's done, so I'll remove the bottle. To, to close the top lid of this Canon printer, you just have to bring it up, push it upwards, and then let it go. It will simply go back into its position by itself. So let's get started right away by connecting the printer to your wireless network. To connect this printer to the internet, we need to use these arrows over here up and down to navigate until you see settings over there. Then press OK and select the first option which should be LAN settings. Wait a few seconds and then we're going to have three different choices here. The first one is Wi-Fi and this is what we want to select with the OK button. Then go down. Until you select Wi-Fi setup, press OK. From here, you need to go over there where it says Wi-Fi setup, press OK. Then go down and select manual connection. Wait a few seconds. And here you're going to have a list of all the different Wi-Fi networks that are located around your printer. Use these arrows to find your Wi-Fi network, mine is the first one, press OK, press OK, press OK, OK. And now we have to enter the password of this network, press OK. And then we need to use this very, very small keyboard on the screen and these arrows. If you want to have access to numbers, you just have to go on this corner, click once and you'll have numbers and symbols if your password contain such a thing. Once you're done typing, select OK, press OK on the printer itself and wait a few seconds so it connects with your Wi-Fi router. Press OK and this is it. Your printer is now connected to your Wi-Fi network. So take your Android or iPhone, it works with both. Go on the App Store on or on the Google Play Store, go into the search, Canon, until you see over here, Canon Print, you absolutely need to download this app. In my case, I already did it, so I'll go ahead and open the app. If you have already connected some other printers, you're gonna see them on the top here. To add a new printer in this list, you need to tap this button over here, add switch, and then click on register printer down below. Wait a few seconds. And you, your Canon PIXMA Mega Tank should appear in this list just after a few seconds. Both your smartphone and the printer needs to be connected on the same Wi-Fi network for this to actually work. So uh, go ahead, tap on your printer.
and you're gonna have this green check mark telling you everything is fine and your smartphone is now finally connected to your printer. Perfect. Now they'll ask you to print a document or anything. You can go back by clicking this X button. I also suggest you click X when you see this page as well. And this is the main screen of the app that you'll interact every time you want to print something from your smartphone. So we have over here document print, photo print. This is gonna be used the most often, I think. And you also have a scan button. I'll show you how both of these are working. So let's start by printing something. But before that, we need to install paper inside of your Canon printer. So the paper goes right on the back. You need to open this small plastic flap completely and you're gonna notice there is two plastic blue guides over there. So if you want to print on regular size letter paper, simply take one of these blue guides and push it to the extremity this way to open up this slit. Here I have some letter size paper. I'll extend this to the extremity, align the paper and let it sit there. You don't have to push it inside. Once the paper is inserted on the screen here, it will simply ask you to confirm the size. Over here we have letter, plain paper. In my case, this is uh, the right paper. So I'll simply press OK to confirm. But you can go over here and change it if this is not what you just put in. Let's print a document. So I'll press on document print. Select documents if you want to print uh, from a file that is already located on your smartphone memory or if you want to print from a Google Drive or other sorts of cloud services, click cloud services. Once you find the document you want to print, click on it. You'll have a preview over here. Press the next button. Press no. Make sure these settings are the right one for your project. If not, select change settings on the top and you'll be able to change the number of copies you want to print, print range in case it's a long document and you simply want to print specific pages. Over here you have paper size, media type. If you're printing on glossy paper, a picture, let's say, you absolutely need to change it over here to glossy photo paper. If you do not do this, the ink will smear all over and it won't be pretty. But in my case, this is plain paper. This is why I leave it like this. And finally, choose if you want in black and white and color. The Canon PIXMAT J3270 does not support double side printing. This is why this is grayed out over there. So once you're done, go back, tap print here, and then press the print button to start the process. It will send the print. Usually it only takes 15 seconds. And here we go, we just printed a document. Now let me show you how to use the scanner and sending the scan directly on your smartphone. By the way, once it's done printing, you're gonna get this green check mark. You just simply need to press OK, back, back again, back, and you're back on the home screen. So the scanner of this printer is right on the top. You have a small lid here, you can lift up. Take your document, place it facing down with the top part of the document on the left side, like that. You're gonna notice that there is an arrow right on this corner. Simply need to bring, you simply need to bring the corner of this paper until it touches the corner of where the arrow is over there. Then close the lid. Take your smartphone, select scan. You're gonna have a few settings here. Use uh, the change settings button here. Document type, if you're scanning pictures, select pictures. If it's simply text document with some graphics, select document. Then you have color mode, if you want color or black and white. And finally, you have the size of your document. This is letter size, therefore I'll simply leave it to letter. I'll press 
back here, press scan and wait. You're going to have a preview over here and you can scan multiple pages. Let's say you have a document of uh, 50 pages. Well, you just have to put the next page and press scan to scan page number two and then number three, number four, etc. In my case, I simply want to scan this page. I'll click exit here. I'll see the preview. I can zoom in to see if I'm happy with the details. And once I'm done, simply press this button. You're gonna have use as JPEG or use as PDF, depending what you prefer. If it's a picture, most people will prefer JPEG. If it's a document, most people will choose PDF. And this is what I'll choose. And you'll have multiple sharing options, sharing by email, by text message. You can even save it on your phone using these settings over here. So this was how you use the scanner on this model. I hope my video was helpful. If so, please leave a like. If you want to get this printer or even some ink from Amazon, I have put links in the description down below. This is a great way to support my channel since every time somebody buys something, I get a very small commission from Amazon. If not, comment down below, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.